<coughs> hey guys. Um, I guess this video is in response to something that a friend of mine recently told me. I guess I haven't been a very good person in the past. And I guess that a lot of that has to do with being transgender, with not being able to handle my own emotions, not being able to communicate with my friends. And so who I am now is not who I used to be. If I took the personality test before, it would have been very different than it is now. And what I've found now is that I am a diplomat. I'm somebody who is supposed to help others see the points of view of others. And I think that's a pretty great job to have, especially being a writer and being an actor. I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, my friend left me because when I was first starting on testosterone, I didn't really have much of a filter, and I was drunk. She was drunk, and we did things that she now regrets, and she's telling me that I raped her. <sighs> I tried to explain that I was also drunk, and also that I felt differently. I felt like maybe she didn't want to sleep with me before, but the person I am now, well, I feel as though I'm a little more attractive now. At least I consider myself to be a little more beautiful. I like dressing up more. I want to put some makeup on here in a little bit and make a new video where I'm wearing makeup. Uh, clearly my voice is getting deeper. I want to go apply for things. I want to audition. I want to see what I can be. I'm tired of hating people. I'm tired of being jealous of people who have more than I have coming out the gates. That's not how to do it. You just gotta run. You just gotta sing. You gotta let it go. You gotta find love. And that's what I found. I found love. I found love in every place I went. I found love when I was hitchhiking in Europe. I found a lot of really good people, a lot of really good stories that I'm going to be writing about. Um, to those of you who said that you sent your condolences when my grandparents died, I appreciate that a lot. And it's something that I'm always going to remember, no matter what you've done to me in the past. If you sent that out to me, or if you in any way wish me well, or checked on me, then I appreciate you. If you helped me with creating that musical last year, which I just had no idea what I was doing. I was just doing my best to make people happy. If you helped me with that. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to mention names here. Probably not. But if you did, that is not going to go unrewarded. If you've been kind to me, it won't go unrewarded. I'll remember it. My grandfather passed away on Thanksgiving morning in his bed next to his son-in-law who had gone squirrel hunting with him many, many times with these feist dogs. The stories are innumerable. The stories are like stars. And since we are like stardust, since we are stardust, it seems to make sense that they should continue going on. That these stories that my papa told me, stories that his son-in-law is telling him, stories from his daughter, 
his only living daughter. And then stories from his grandchildren, from his great-great-grandchildren, great-grandchildren. There are many stories to be told. I come from coal. I come from the Appalachian Mountains. I come from a time that cannot be distinguished. I come from beauty. I come from a soul who refused to grow old. She was young when she died. And she is still young inside of me. I come from my grandparents who taught me to share and to eat and to cook. I come from a land in eastern Kentucky where there used to be a roller skating rink. Now there is a poker hall and I imagine there are many places where people go to fight roosters. I want to go learn how to hunt. I want to work on engines. I want to work on cars. I want to learn. I want to pound my pedals. I want to hit my brakes, hit my gas, and explore the United States of America. I want to interview people. I want to explore as who I am, this genderqueer human being who smiles a little bit too much, who likes to help people, who hopes that they aren't late for school today. Who wants to go and get another ID card? Who wants to travel? I would like to sing you songs that I've written. I would like to explore many, many things. I would like to be a great teacher. I suppose I should start applying. So this is who I am. I'm going to put on some eyeliner soon. Growing up in eastern Kentucky, there were a lot of churches. There were a lot of people who made fun of me for not going to those churches. But I found kind people who were religious, and I found kind people who were not religious. I found kind people in every faith. And so that is why I don't consider myself to be of any faith exactly. But if I had to choose one, I would say that I follow Christ. And I follow Buddha. I follow any people who agree that we are equal. I am Quaker. I am teacher. As many people who practice religion in the past have already discovered, Often those who practice religion, those who are priests, those who practice or who preach, 
those people are usually somewhat in between. They don't dress exactly the way that their gender is supposed to dress. There's somebody else. There's something beyond. And I... I would like to, t to think that the case is so with me in some ways. How old do I look? How old are you? How did you stumble across my video? Please let me know. I can't wait to hear from you some more. Comment, ask questions, tell me a story about what it's like growing up where you grow up. I hope that if you're a teenager, you talk to me. I hope that if you're younger than that, you talk to me. I want to give you rights and the ability for people to hear you, because that's important. <laughs>